Hi everyone, I'm Rob from Project Sandbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put OpenShot on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you want to do to put OpenShot on your Windows computer is obviously to find the download for it. And I have an easy place set up for you to do that. So from the library homepage, you want to make sure you go to this little services section. Under services, you can click on Project Sandbox, probably at the very bottom, which will obviously take you to the Project Sandbox website. From the website, you just want to go to this little resources tab and click on the drop down button right there. And then at the bottom of that list, you'll see something that says freely available or open source programs. Since OpenShot is an open source program, that's obviously the option you go to. And then at the very bottom of this list, I apologize, I know there's lots of lists, bear with me though there will be uh, an option called video right here. And then you can see open shot video editor right there. If you just click on that link, you will see a web page pop up with open shot. Um, right here, you can see that there's a little download option. Um, if you had a Apple computer, you could click on this link right here to have an Apple installer. Um, click this link if you happen to use a Linux OS system. Um, the only other thing that I want to point out to you is that this does say Windows 64-bit installer and there's a 32-bit option right there. Don't worry too much about what this means. The main thing that you want to know is just which system you have. So to find that out, you just need to bring up your Windows settings. Normally you hit a gear icon to do that. And then under system, you go to about. In this about area, you'll see that uh, you'll either have a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. I have a 64-bit operating system, so that's the one that I would want to choose. If you happen to have 32-bit, make sure you click that link right there. I have 64 though, so we're good to go after we click download. Once I click this link, I will fast forward the video so you don't need to wait for the download to happen for me, but all you'll have to do is click right there and it's good to go. All right, so after OpenShot is done installing, you just wanna click on whichever option just got installed. So you can normally just click at the very bottom on your browser. Um, if you don't wanna do that though, feel free to open up one of your windows and then it's normally gonna be in your download section unless you've changed that. Then you can just double click on the application and it'll open it up for you. So you should see a, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your uh, device option appear? If you see that, just make sure you click yes. After you click yes, you'll see this little option pop up. Make sure you choose the language that works best for you. For me, that's English, so I want to click there and then just hit OK. Once you hit OK, this next screen will appear. This is just a user license. You can read it if you want to. If not, just hit I accept the agreement. You can choose where OpenShot actually sits on your computer. Probably stick with the default option. That will generally work best for you. Then hit Next and then choose what you want. If you want a shortcut on your desktop, you can click right there. Um, you do wanna have this selected because OSP is what OpenShot uses. So you want that to be your default program for that file type. And adding an exception in the Windows firewall is probably also a good idea for this program. Then hit next. And then finally hit install. I might fast forward the video if this takes a while. And then once it's finished installing, you'll see this little window appear. And then just have this little checkbox checked because what it'll do is it'll open up OpenShot right away for you. And you can make sure that it actually worked. And then you hit finish. And then if it works totally fine for you, OpenShot just 
opened up. It's a lot of opens, I'm aware. It's unfortunate that open is in the name of this program. So if you got to this point, you should be good to go to start editing videos. If you didn't, try either reinstalling the program by clicking on this link again. If that doesn't work, try downloading the link again and reinstalling it. Um, if you do have any problems though, you know how to get a hold of me on the Project Sandbox website. So now that you're good to go, please feel free to join me in the next video where I talk about how to actually start your video editing project. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one.